Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo, and today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Atabay in a 8x50 A size. And this here is comprised of an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper over undisclosed binders and fillers. And my previous experience with Atabay, I smoked a couple of their Robustos and their Lanceros. Excellent cigar, in my opinion. Uh, funny story, I actually had ordered a three pack of Lanceros, which they call Spiritus, and they sent me uh, the 8x50s. So, I mean, these cigars are pretty hard to get, so I figured, hey, why not just send them to me? Um, but yeah, that's how I acquired these big old cigars. Um, so, the story behind um, Atabe, Atabe is a goddess of the Taino tribe which originated in the Caribbean. Their people offered their prayers to their leader Bejique, which we all know uh, is represented through um, Cohiba cigars, which in turn he offered them to the goddess Atabe, which is the goddess of uh, fertility, uh, the moon, and water. Uh, the goddess Atabe is always portrayed uh, in a crouching position, uh, which is their preferred method of giving birth. So, you know, uh, in a way, uh, she brings life to the culture, which is pretty interesting um, if you look into the uh, background of these cigars. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the nice, uh, silky, and very smooth wrapper which has uh, several prominent veins there. You can see them. Uh, very nice work on the triple cap, resembling the uh, old Cuban ways of rolling. Very packed foot. That nice and ornate band, which is just perfect for this cigar in my opinion. There's the Goddess Atabe. Nice depictive picture there I'm assuming it's Costa Rica since that's where these cigars come from so yeah it's a very nice cigar let me go ahead and take off the foot band there we go slid right off cut it up and test the draw a little bit tight for my taste but it'll work very earthy and musky uh, aromas coming off of the cold draw and I actually just saw a deficiency here when I took off the foot band hopefully that doesn't unravel all right let's go ahead and light it up and see what we get All right, right off the bat, a very nice, creamy, and satiating smoke here, which is a bit bitter in my opinion, uh, like a zesty bitterness type of thing, but very mild, giving me a hint of, of herbal essence. Not abundant smoke in my opinion, but it'll be a work in progress. I'll 
probably have to massage this one because it's such a long cigar. Um, let's go ahead and see what the retro ale has to offer. Kettle corn popcorn uh, is the main note through the retro hell. Very buttery. That herbal essence though, it's just flying in the background through the retro hell as well. It's almost like a like a spearmint type of er, um, herbalness. It's uh, pretty weird. I didn't get that uh, from the um, Lanceros and the Robustos. Yeah, so, so far it's a very medium bodied, uh, I would say actually mild bodied cigar. Perfect for the morning, which is when I'm smoking it at 7.30 in the morning here in LA. So let me go ahead and I keep smoking this down past the first third and I'll be back for my first update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third of this Arabe Dioses. And what can I say? Look at the construction of this cigar. I mean, it's just immaculate, right? Great construction, great burn line. As far as the profile here on the first third, very consistent with light up. Just a little bit more developed on the profile. Still, the primary note on this cigar is that nice kettle corn, churned popcorn type of buttery uh, profile. The smoke is very creamy. As a secondary note, getting some type of herbal essence, which is lingering on the palate. It's almost like a spearmint type of herbalness. On the retro hell, still getting that nice, sweet uh, popcorn finish as a predominant note. Um, the sting on the sinus is almost non-existent it's like a one out of ten it's barely there very approachable cigar just a very mild body cigar so far uh, in my opinion perfect cigar for the morning uh, I mean if you like you know this type of cigar any time of day you can smoke it as well i think it's going to be very enjoyable for you also that bitterness uh is still there it's uh just right in the background uh on the very long finish uh still picking it up and that's pretty much all i got here on the first third um let me go ahead and keep smoking this down past the second third and i'll be back for my next update welcome back I'm at the end of the second third of this Arabe Dioses. As you can see, the ash literally just fell seconds before this take, but it was nice and stacked. Burn line is a little bit wonky, but it's still very serviceable in my opinion. The cigar has awakened beautifully in this second third in my opinion. As you can see, it's producing an increased amount of smoke that's very apparent. As far as the profile on the cigar, the main note now here on the second third on the palate is a citrus zest that's um, a little bit bitter. There's also still that herbalness on the uh, palate as a secondary tone, which is nice contrast uh, between the two it's almost getting to like a floral note if you may on the retro hail the main note is like a cinnamon anise spice uh, that's a little bit stinging on the sinus now it's increased to like a three or four out of ten very much manageable it's a very nice spice uh, that's very tolerable on the retro hail 
As a secondary note, the citrus zest is shining through on the very long finish. And let me tell you, man, each third on this cigar, it's about a 45 minute burn. Like, I think I need to refill my coffee. It's like almost drained. So, in my opinion, the cigar's performing exceptional. It's crescendoing every third. I'm excited to see what the last third has in store for me. Let me go ahead and smoke this down as far as I can. And I'll be back for my final update and closing thoughts on this Adabe Dioses. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this Adabe Dioses. As you can see, the construction is just immaculate still on this cigar. Beautiful in my opinion. It just ashed a few minutes ago. Uh, I was actually not careful with it. So I knocked it on my ashtray or else it would probably be holding the ash. And still producing numerous and tons of smoke, right? So on this last third, the main note on the palate is a hay sweetness, which is very enjoyable. Secondary tones of herbal notes and the citrus zest is apparent on the long finish as well. On the retrohale, getting a nice sweet hay note as well, accompanied by a herbal note that's very delectable. It's it's more predominant on the retrohale than the, on the palate. The retrohale continues to be mild, like a three or four out of 10. Um, <clears throat> there's a little bit of, of bitter sting uh, on the long finish as well, like from the citrusy zest, uh, but it's just right in the background. Uh, the cigar has been burning for two hours and about 25 minutes now. It's a very long smoke. Uh, people say I smoke fast. I think I smoke slow, uh, especially like on reviews. I don't know, but that's the burning time for this cigar. Um, as far as the price point, it isn't a cheap date. It is on the mid to high 30s for a single stick. Uh, they're available actually in three packs five packs and boxes of 25 <sighs> to be honest with you um you know depending on your budget in reality this cigar is definitely a box worthy cigar however taking into consideration the financial aspect of it speaking personally also i would find it kind of hard to spend 900 and something dollars on a box of these so i picked up a three pack which uh, had a few bucks off i would say like a five pack at the most um you know to be wallet friendly is ideal rating for this cigar um unless you're a ceo baller of course then you're, you're gonna buy a box but yeah so that's uh my review on this cigar super excited because it's the first adabe on the channel um i'm not sure if i mentioned it but it's uh Costa Rica origin so tobaccos there are highly taxed so that also contributes to the price tag so yeah that's all I have on this Adabe if you enjoy this cigar let me know by the way it's a cigar I think um, if you're into like more bolder cigars you're gonna enjoy the cigar earlier in the day uh, there's some fans and smokers out there that enjoy Connecticut's at any time of the day that's for you you can enjoy it even on the evenings I'd, I'd say I, I would enjoy this cigar in the evening as well. Nice cup of wine or uh, bourbon or something. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.